the tarantula arc, so do not mind the fan in the background. It is hot today. All right, so I decided to take out my baby. Um, I'll put the information on what he is in the, like, right here. Yeah, because I haven't seen him. He hasn't been eating. He's not doing anything. And then when I looked in this little hole that he used to have right over here, he's, like, all just, like, lifeless. <laughs> He's not molting because he did mm, about three weeks ago. So that's not what it is. So I'm like, okay, something's going on. So I took him out and everything else. I'm not sure if he mature, matured into a male or like if he's female or like what's going on. The humidity is extremely, oh my God, I'm like sweating so bad right now being over his enclosure. But he needs the humidity. The substrate's not soaked or anything else. It's just humid. And so took out his smaller dish that he had because he had that one. Put this bigger one in here and started a little burrow for him even though it's nothing like the fabulous one that he originally had which still bits and pieces are there but i figured you know what at least i know he's okay not moving around too much but we'll see what happens i'm gonna go ahead and put him in here and hopefully get a couple shots for you guys um i spot the springtails are still doing good so yeah, there's no mold in here. There's nothing in here. I checked over the entire enclosure and stuff. I did find remains of his mold, but not able to piece it back together. This Humpty Dumpty is just gonna stay in pieces, okay? So, without further ado, let's get him in his new enclosure. This catch cup thing is so scratched up. You can't even really see inside there. But, not seeing hooks on them or anything else and they're supposed to get a lot bigger than this so i'm not quite sure what's going on with this one but he is gorgeous yeah i don't know all right i'm gonna go ahead and put him in his little area i gotta put the lid on for this because they are they are they are extremely fast so i will be right back Right now I do have a screen on top of it because if it's perfectly he cannot get out so this way I can still hopefully Oh This is stupidity right here There he is So yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys down for a second Oh and there you go I'm gonna go ahead and grab him a cricket and hopefully he is that is a mess. Oh my god, I just jumped off and took its own leg off. Yeah, see? And normally he eats like crazy. Like I said, he already molted three weeks ago. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. But, uh, I don't know. I have a feeling in a few weeks this one's going to be in a jar. Hopefully not, but hey, shit happens. Okay, anyways, this video's getting long enough. Alright, so, yeah, that's... What the heck did I name you? Illidan. Oh, man, that's a great name, too. Come on, you better live. Unlike Baby, I cannot take this one out and hold him. But like I said, he is from Vietnam. I don't remember. The... It's like on something or I don't I don't remember like I said it'll be in the information so yeah hopefully this one survives if not well I will keep everybody updated if he does or he does not and yeah but don't worry I'm not leaving you guys on a sad note I will be right back sprayer <laughs> apparently he's starting to feel a little bit better he's crawling around we can't get out right no, good. Okay. Your water, but let's see if you're hungry. I say so.
job, Jen. Dude, you got your fang in his eyeball. That is so freaking cool. <laughs>